it's completely understandable that you feel that you want to go back to theory. Okay. Yeah. And there's a, there's a bunch of reasons for that. And one of them, although it's going to sound a little bit strange, one of them is, is kind of brainwashing. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so we were taught by our schools that the way to learn was to know all your stuff. And then by the time you got to questions, you knew your work. So yeah. our experience was that by the time we were doing questions, we knew the answers. So yes. the feeling that we had was like the way to pass mm-hmm. is to have that feeling of readiness. Yes. So True. we pinned we pinned our belief that passing is about feeling ready. So we connected these two together. Competence, mm-hmm. knowing your work, that is what's going to get you to pass. Right. So we've connected that. So that's not something you've broken yet, because Mm -hmm. what you're doing when you're studying is you're waiting for that feeling because it's a good feeling. It's a comfortable feeling. Right. So (laughs) It's like, (laughs) okay, I feel like I'm prepared because that's our personality. Your personality style leans towards closure, neatness. I want to get it right. Um, Mm -hmm. I want to be conscientious. Um, mm-hmm. I can't just wing it. I can't just be a cowboy. I can't just go in there and go do crazy yeah. stuff like I know what I'm doing. Okay. So you need to understand that in in terms of your studying, mm-hmm. you are fighting your underlying personality style. <laughs> it's not mm-hmm. just accounting. You know what I mean? You're not mm-hmm. struggling with accounting. You're struggling with your personality because mm-hmm. what you have to do to pass goes against everything that makes you, you. Okay, so that's a that's a fight. So it's all well and good for me to say the stuff that I say. And then you go, oh, that's logical. I hear that. And then you go back and your brain says to you, no, 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 no. We don't do, we don't do this. Like this is, no, I don't think so. And it's ugly and it's uncomfortable. And then you go, no, no, I'm going to give it a try. Like, okay, fine. I'll give it a try because I'm desperate. Mm. I'll give it a try. And then what happens? Horrible disaster. And you're like, no, she's lying. She doesn't know what she's talking about. It's a bad idea. (laughs) Don't do it. And then you go back and your brain says, see, I told you. This is not the way to do it. We need to go back to what we've always done. So Mm. your brain will always take you back to what worked in the past because we seek familiarity. And we seek comfort in what we know. We Mm. don't like change. We don't. We do not. There's an interesting saying that says the only time that we as human beings change is when the pain of staying the same is bigger than the pain of changing. And it's kind of true. Mm. Because if you think about it, people only start getting healthy when they've had a health scare. When they're like, oh, but I nearly died. Okay, now I'm going to eat healthy. My students don't change their study habits until they fail. So I very seldom work with students who are doing CTA the first time Mm. because they're like, I don't need to change. I'm not changing anything. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm not, the pain of change is too big. But for students that have failed stuff, they're like, I don't want to go through that again. That was painful. And so the pain of change is less than the pain of failing. And so we measure it up and go, I'd rather go through the pain of change than go through the pain of failure. Mm-hmm. And the reason I say this is because I want you to realize that I understand how difficult it is to change mm-hmm. what you're doing. And I know why you struggle because you can sit back and go, I agree. Questions are important. and I need to do like five of them this week. And then you get to Saturday and you've done zero. And you're like, why can't I just... <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I just do what I said I was going to do? Like how you, and then we're like, well, I'm sabotaging myself. I'm stupid. I'm lazy. Uh, Do I not want this? This is the most important thing in my life. And then we beat ourselves up and then we revise our study schedule. And we're like, no, next week is going to be different. Next week's going to (laughs) change. Yeah. Right. It's almost like I'm in your head, right? Mm -hmm. How do I know this? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So the first, the one thing that that I need you to understand, you're completely normal. Mm -hmm. You're normal. This is normal. 
There's nothing wrong with you. You're not sabotaging your studies. It's not because you're lazy. It's not because you can't do this. It's because you are so used to doing this your whole life. And now you're like, now I need to do what? Uh, I don't think so. And not only that, but the change that we're saying you need to make is ugly. It's uncomfortable. And Mm. it's your weakness. So now you're moving from stuff that was your strength memory Mm. calculations formats rules so we're moving from stuff that was your strength to stuff that is your weakness Mm. who wants to do that 